<sighs> oh, y'all come to drink the tea and sip the tea. <laughs> know me as I am delivered but my name is Andrew but delivered with the T I'm back here in November of 2014 in the, um, in the St. Louis it was our holy convocation that we have every year I was new to the Church of God of Christ I was new to church at the time I've always been a church my whole life but it, as grown I was new to it I only going to church just to shout and to see who I was gonna sleep with with pastor but at that church they, want, they delivered out of me. They were snatching that out of me. But now I get hard for women. I don't get hard for men. Ain't nothing wrong with the flirtation. <laughs> but I'm still delivered. The morning that I woke up, God told me to go to the store. I went and got me a bow tie, jacket, and all that. I just felt peace that day. Like, so much peace. And later that night, I was sitting down in the chair. And I was like, it's time for prayer. I went up there for prayer. I got the mic. He said, like, what do you want God to do? And I said, I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said, I'm delivered with the tea. I went home with the sleep. And I got back up and I said, Lord, use me because I want to be used. I started receiving lots of messages on my Facebook page. I'm like, oh, OK, some of the church people follow me. That's nice. And then that morning when I got up, people was knocking at my door to interview me. And they said, when your video went viral, I said, what video? I said, the church had me live and it didn't tell me. I thought that screens in the church was only the people in the church and people watching it on the internet. Because at the time, it looked like I made a mock of God. I was not ready for this. I was not ready to be thrown in the spotlight. I wanted to kill myself. I had got me a glass and I was sitting down that, that, that same day. I was crying, not because I went viral, because my emails, my phone calls, people was calling me. I don't know how they got my number, was harassing me. They was church members, oh, you, we think you came out, but I think you'll still see that spirit. Come to church on Sunday, we want to get that more spirit out of you. And I heard a tiny voice saying, don't do it. And I started doing like this. And do I ask for that? I would never ask somebody to go viral. The way I went viral, this is not something that no one wants. I wanted to kill myself several times, several times. My life has changed better and worse. The money, yes. I received money from Facebook. Like my first big check was like 10,000. And I was like, yeah! I've been in plays, stage plays. The house that Misery built, it was a play that took place in North Carolina. My character in the play was Reverend Jackson. I was the preacher. When the people was at the thing, I started praying. And I had my fur and I came in, I said, Ooh, it's a little warm in here. Can someone please take my fur? So I threw my fur on Charlotte. <laughs> They're having a part two. They're gonna offer me to come in August, so I'm looking for my offer to come. And they still from this day won't even tell me how they got my number. But the money was good. I have been granted to work with different organizations. I have been granted to when I go fly Delta, I don't have to pay a full price. Delta, thank you. <laughs> My real thing, I'm becoming the new Kardashian. All well, Kardashian. <laughs> but I ain't gonna go naked. Cause I'm a star too. Then you put up that little Donald Trump star, then put my name back. And if I had a chance to go there, I will dig up Trump star and put my name on it. Give me a black marker, I will build her something. Shade Room posted me with a woman. Let's make this clear. Yes, I have a girlfriend. Yes, I like meow. And don't be surprised when we have her wedding. Don't be surprised when we have little call wheels walking around. And stop saying to my girlfriend on Facebook, in the shade room, tell my girl, blink five times if you need help. <laughs> shade room. Hey, shade room. <laughs> shade room. I love living in St. Louis. St. Louis is my hometown. This is where I was born and raised at. This is where everything started at. From my birth to the convention and, to the, and now into my fame, my 45 minutes of fame. We don't do 15 minutes no more. Right now, we are at the convention center where I got delivered at, where God saved and sanctified me. I went there last year, and I'm thinking that everybody was gonna forgive me. I'm thinking that everybody was just gonna go and love me. People was looking me up and down. I had some love. And it's like, wow, these are church people, people that I'm supposed to love. I went viral. And now look what they did to me now. I really wish that I can just start fresh and not just do this ever again. 
because this is the place that I got hurt it. This is the place that I can't go back and just say, um, let's do it again. Let's start fresh. What's next for Andrew Caldwell is my clothing line is coming out. My book is coming out. And um, hopefully the bells will be ringing.